Whoa, what a mess. And now the nest is all akimbo. This feels weird. Yeah, we'll need to find a way to correct that. But it can wait until tomorrow. I think we've had our share for the day. We deserve some time to relax. If you know what I mean. You can do whatever you want, but I am going to bed. Okay? Uh, you? Wake up! It's okay. I'm here. That was just a nightmare. Everything's fine. That... that wasn't a nightmare. Sure it was. <laughs> Rest easy. No! I was awake. I could hear you. I just couldn't move or yell. I couldn't breathe. It was horrible. Yeah, seemed like it was. Do you want my opinion? I'm not a dream expert or anything, but... It wasn't a dream. I wasn't sleeping. My eyes were wide open. No, your eyes were closed. I'm telling you, they were open. I saw everything. You, the, the room, everything. Okay, okay. What I meant was that it may have been because of the nest. What? You said you couldn't move. You were nailed to the bed. A bit like the nest which is stuck to the ground, right? You've been flying in this thing for years. I bet you're upset to see it in this condition. Huh. No kidding. Which means that if we fix up the nest, this'll all go away? Could be. <laughs> Worst case scenario, the nest will be fixed. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope we'll eventually find the missing parts then. So I can get fixed up too. All right, now we can see a lot clearer. Yeah, we're not there yet, but that should do the trick for now. Now we just need to figure out how to level the nest. The tractor globe is probably done charging. Let's bring it outside. Do you think it'll be enough to lift it? I hope so, because I have no idea what else we can do. grabbed a little snack for the road. Huh, sounds good. I'll bring the first aid kit as well, just in case. <laughs> Did it move? No, I don't think so. Bulging blunt! Ugh, oh, it's over. It's not going back straight. We'll never be able to fix it. We are condemned to living on an incline in a broken ship forever. Until our body adapts and one of our legs starts shrinking to even us out. What's the issue exactly? Well, the back pain will be crazy, for one. And also, I don't know about you, but I personally like having a reasonably symmetrical body. I meant with the tractor globe. Ah, not enough power, it seems like. The battery drains out even before lifting the nest a centimeter off the ground. Although to be fair, it was originally designed to lift cargo crates into ships. Not the ships, themselves. What if we plugged it into a flow spring? I thought about that, 
but we'd have to be able to seal the pipe shut. Unfortunately, I don't think they make gaskets for blow springs from a distant planet. Perhaps we can make one. With what? Paper mache? Remember yesterday when I told you that rust scatters when it comes in contact with flow? We could use that feature to sculpt a gasket out of pieces of rust. You could do that? I don't think I could sculpt a nude statue of you or a super complex component, but molding a gasket? That seems doable. That's awesome! <laughs> Hold on, let's not start pushing before the panties are pulled down. Excuse me? You've never heard of that saying? No. Must be a truth thing then. That means let's not celebrate before we... Yeah, yeah. I got it. Anyway, how much rust do you need in order to <laughs> pull the panties down? Uh, I don't know. Four or five blocks like those we already got? Okay, so let's try and find that. I won't be able to fix the nest if we don't pull it out of the... This way is also full of rust. Not for long. Here, another big chunk. We probably should grab some more, just to be sure. Let me know when you have enough rust to make the gasket, okay? For sure. Great, we're stacking up. Just a little more rust, and we'll be set. I think that's enough rust to cobble up your tractor globe joint. Are we leaving then? Ready when you are. Be careful. These creatures don't seem to be in their right mind. I did notice that. Chill! Alright! That's it! Ah, one of them is weakened. We should be able to pacify it. Copy that. He's right for the picking. Harvest time! You! You started it! Alright! That's it! You're safe! Nice! What? Let's settle down! Now's the time! This one's- You like that? Boom! <sighs> Are you alright? Ha! You? Yep! Saw them now! Shoot! One to go! Let's get it over with! And done! That's how we rock! What was that noise? Ugh, oh, my stomach. It needs to be fed soon!
This is where we came from. Oh. I think we've got everything we need to mold a joint for the tractor globe. All right then. Ready when you are. I'm just waiting on you. I can't wait to get going. So? Well, it fits. That's a good sign. Let's get this ball rolling. What? What? Haven't you heard of that one either? Oh no, I have. It's just a really old-fashioned saying. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, that's worse. Can you just switch on the tractor globe, please? <laughs> okay. We just need to fix up the wings, and the turbine, and the hypopropellers, and... Don't be so cynical. Getting the nest out of the crevasse was quite a feat. Huh? No, don't get me wrong. I am genuinely delighted. I love fixing things up. But, I don't think we need to get started right away. <sighs> That's a relief. Done. It's all straightened out. Everything's tidy and clean. Besides us, that is. <laughs> yeah, we are kind of stinky. Off to the shower then? Ah, Blute. What is it? I just mobbed the bathroom. Oh. Do you think we can marinate another 10 to 15 minutes in our own filth? <laughs> Honestly, can do. Aggressive dish, isn't it? Hmm? Why'd you say that? Well, it's a lot of fat and carbs. You're usually more fine dining. Hmm. That's true. There's more if you want. Definitely. 
18, 19, 20. Keep on going, my love, you're strong. 21, 22. You know I'm able to count on my own, right? Yeah, but I like to watch when you do push-ups. That way I feel like I'm participating. You could also do push-ups. <laughs> no. No need for that. I am naturally muscular. There is no such thing as naturally muscular. For real? Arm wrestle? <laughs> no. It's a trap. If I win, you'll complain that I hurt your arm. And if I let you in, I'll be hearing about it for weeks. Ding, ding, ding! Win by default. See? Naturally muscular. So, how are the repairs coming along? Uh, I've done everything I can, but I'm missing some parts and can't move on. What kind of parts? A bit of everything. The thing is that I'm not looking for very precise models or anything. I can always adapt, but I'm still gonna need some more gear. Well, I hope we'll find everything we need in this area then. We ought to. What's this rocky chunk got to say? Well, for starters, it says it's not a rock. Really? What is it then? Some kind of metal? No. It's not mineral or organic. So, what is it? <laughs> Going straight to the hard questions. But that is not how science works. How does it work then? First of all, you formulate a hypothesis, then you build an experiment to test this hypothesis. You observe, and you learn. Okay, then what have you learned? That I'm lacking imagination regarding hypotheses? One thing we know for sure is that rust particles scatter immediately when in contact with flow. I'd like to observe this reaction more closely. You can do that next time. Right now, you should go to bed. Already? What time is it? No idea, but I know I'm sleepy, and I want my snuggles before I crash. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, we need to talk. Should I be worried? Yes, no, maybe. Promise me you won't be mad. I can't promise anything without knowing what this is about. <sighs> it's about your skidding skills. Oh. <laughs> Let's just say that you could use some extra training. <laughs> okay, show me. You're not mad? Why would I be mad? I love to learn new things. All right, let's hop on a few threads to practice. Skid! That's it! You did let's it! Let's do another one! Now! Now you're getting it. Let's see if you can keep it going. Skid! Now you have 
have a handle on this. Perfect. I have to say, I have an excellent teacher. Well, you passed the test. Let's get back to business. My turn. Friend. You're safe. Got it. Uh. <gasps> That'll teach him. Chill. Let's get it over with. And done. Take that. That's gotta hurt. One down. Target one. <gasps> He's right for the picking. Harvest time. Let's get it over with. And done. We make a good team. He's back to being sweet. Seems like it was the rust that made him aggressive. Any idea why? It could just be because they're uncomfortable. If the rust hurts them, that would explain why they're turning violent. But it doesn't explain why they're attacking us and not fighting amongst themselves. Maybe the rust is taking over their nervous system in some way, like a parasite. Or maybe it's because of pheromones. You could also say, I don't know. I'd understand. Okay, I don't know. You hear that, Oink? You're a scientific mystery. Oink, his name is Oink now. I have to say, it's much nicer this way. Enjoying the view? Definitely. Huh? What 
does she want from us? Another thing from home. How many do you think Axanova built before they realized it wouldn't work? I guess they knew what they were doing. Having worked for them, I can tell you they don't just throw money around. Knowing my mom, I'm not surprised. Still though, it shouldn't take years of research and observation to realize that this planet is scattered around like a jigsaw puzzle. You don't just see this and think, ooh, this place is nice. We should settle it. That's what we did. But we didn't have much of a choice. Why did my mom never mention any of this to me? I don't think Axanova wins colonization contracts on the regular. These buildings look kind of old. Your mom may not have been head of the company then. She may not have been with the company at all. Yeah, that's possible. Still, it's weird. Agreed. I guess we'll figure it out eventually. We've been spotted! It could always be useful. I have a good one. We're too quick for them. Another one. It. Keep that! You bam! Go, girl! That didn't seem to bother him much. This will come on! Booyah! Okay, one left. Hey, that's cheating. Hey. Let's get it over with. And done. Great job. You're welcome. Yes. Thread. Oh, yeah. Do you think it could carry us all the way up there? Only one way to find out. Threat is just too fragile. Are you sure you know where we're going? I think so. No 
that was the last one. That's the highest we'll get. That wasn't too far off. Look, there's another bridge over there. Ugh, but I wanted to go all the way up. We'll have to lay off the apple dews then. This one is nice and ripe. Attention. I hope I imagined it. Should we take a break? Indeed. <sighs> if you told me one day I'd be millions of lumsec from the apiary watching rocks flying by. Beautiful, isn't it? I'd say intriguing. I'm trying to figure out how it works. I'm pretty sure you don't know how nucleosynthesis works either, but you can still appreciate the stars in the sky. That's true. <sighs> it could be worse. Yeah. Actually, this is all thanks to the matchmaker. What? Think about it. Imagine the matchmaker had put us together. We would have spent our boring lives in the apiary without surprise, and we would have never ended up here. Together. Watching rocks flying by. This is no joking matter. For all we know, the apiary is hot on our trail right now. If they find us, and they bring us back, we'll see how much you want to thank the matchmaker. That was just a turn of phrase. Not a good one. Uh... All right, come on. Let's go.
trade places? As you wish. Another bit of rust for your collection? Oh, cool. I don't have this one yet. Are we saving those for later? Of course. So fare too well in the water. Oh, could they get damaged? No way. They're waterproof. But you won't exactly grip the track underwater. to wait a little bit for it to grow. Let me know when you want to leave, all right? Sure will. Do we agree this thing does not look very natural? Yeah. It's probably satellite debris or a rocket propeller? This part of space is a real dump. I don't know. This stone circle around it still looks weird to me. This? These aren't stones. They're Briam's Mollus Molus. Bloofs, for short. Bloofs? Yeah, because when you sit on them, it goes. <laughs> I like. Huh. Oh. Huh. Huh. <sighs> I think I could fall asleep right here. You? Uh, you. <gasps> Who? What? I told you I'm not going back. Go bloot yourselves! You. It's me. I think you fell asleep. Oh, sorry. These bloofs are way too comfortable. You can't leave me here. <laughs> if we ever need to sleep under the stars, we'll know where to come. You know what we should have packed? A card game? My guitar. You have a guitar? Well, yeah. Where is it? At my house. On top. Well, I guess these days I can't really call it my house. Or even say it's my guitar. I didn't know that you played. To be honest, I wouldn't really say that I play. My mothers had me take courses when I was little. I took them for two years and then I got tired. I never touched it again. I even called it an old-timey instrument. <laughs> but I don't know. Now, with the campfire and everything, hmm, I wish I could pull it out. Oh, 
I would have played along on the harmonica. Because you play the harmonica? No. But since we're imagining things, let's just run with it. Yeah, you're right. I can already picture it. We could have founded a band. The number one band on Source. A Yuki! It's an anagram of you and Kay. Yeah, I got that. I was thinking more along the lines of... The Flow Phantasm. Very poetic. Isn't it? Why not? The Weavers. <gasps> Ooh, not bad. Flow. Acrocillin Blues. Where the heart is. Caress. Oh, yeah, I definitely like that. We are so space caress now. We'll bring the house down. We just need to find stuff to repair the nest now. We just need to? than walking, like running. <laughs> That's true. I can't even remember. Did I just see that thing eat up a flow thread? Sure did. That's probably why these creatures don't seem affected by the rust. Good for them. But I hope they're sparing some for others. Us, namely. For cooking. Do you think we'll have enough? We never have enough. Sure, they canceled the colonization because we've come across a lot of infrastructure at this point. I'm just telling you what I read in the archives. Could it be that the archives are 
Buying? Hmm. Uh, of course they could be. I'm not sure what his toy did to him, but I wouldn't like to be in its place. Hold on. Isn't that... What? Let's get a closer look. Doesn't sound like a good idea. Don't turn around, but I think we're being followed. Okay? It would seem that he's not gonna share his toy. What did I tell you? You got this? You bet I do. <laughs> that looks bad. <laughs> he's too impervious. We should coordinate our attacks. <laughs> Alright, same attack on three. Three! I got this. <laughs> I think we found the right technique. Cover me. All set? Now! I'm sure he felt that. On your mark? Go, go, go! You want some more? Ready? Go, go, go! You go, girl! Ready when you are. All set! Booyah! I'll keep them at bay. On your mark? Now! Boom, baby! Three, two, one! Now! Go, girl! Eat it! This one's ready. I'm on it. Kapow! Who's next? We're that good. He left this toy behind. That's not a toy. Looks like... A robot? Almost. It's a Draca. Drone for autonomous cartography. 
Very old tech. The kind we sent out to beauty before it was integrated to the apiary. Oh. Seems like they pondered integrating Source for a while as well. I wonder why they changed their minds. It could be the fact that this planet is scattered like a puzzle. Probably was a factor. The Draca may hold some answers. You're kidding. No, really. Stuff from that era was built tough. We may be able to boot it back up. Hmm. Mm. Okay. I might have spoken a bit quickly. The flow circuits are completely fried. But... But, 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 but look at what I was able to salvage. The anti-grav chips don't seem to be damaged. I should be able to make them compatible with our boots by tweaking the connectors a bit. Whoa. Even better, the mapping module is also working perfectly. If I plug that into the glove's power source, it should... Boom! This should be very helpful for finding our way around the bits of land. <laughs> you never cease to impress me. Ah, uh, that's nothing, really. These old machines are plain and simple astronautical engineering. Not like the new stuff with boronic nano components everywhere. <clears throat> Whoa! Kay! Your face is all swollen! You should see the other guy. <laughs> Idiot. But don't worry, it's gonna be okay. Now we just need to find a place to lay low and clean up these wounds. Would the nest work? Certainly. So, that way we can map out the different bits? Yeah, and with this, we can make our way back to the nest a lot easier. Hey, look! It says there's another bridge in this area. Perfect. That way we can test if your thingy works. No more slow. This is weird. What is? It looks like there's also a pre-recorded location on the radar. Hmm. What could it be? I don't know. Little Draco's favorite picnic spot? In that case, we definitely have to check it out. Isn't that Oink? That is definitely him! That's Oink! What's happening, big guy? Why are you here? You missed us, didn't you? I bet he felt lonely on his empty eyelid. You do realize that we can't take you along on our journeys, don't you? That would be too exhausting for you. But you can stay with us next to the nest if you want. <laughs> no funny business, though. Come on, give me your boots. Once I plug in these chips, they'll be like a whole new pair. I can barely figure out left and right as they are. I am 
gonna kill them. I swear I am gonna kill them. Are you sure you don't want to take a break and get some fresh air? No! These bleuding anti-grav chips aren't the boss of me! I still don't understand what the problem is. The problem is, there is such a thing as a standard. And the Borons who designed this drone thought it might be fun to improve this standard. Except, if you take a standard and improve upon it, you get... A better standard? You get no standard at all! <sighs> and so now, it looks like I have to machine these boron chips. Just so they can fit in these bleuding boots. Uh, anything I can do to help? No, I'm okay. I'm done. What? But that was super quick. Well, yeah, when you have the right tools. I mean, since you were complaining, I was thinking that it would take a while. It's a matter of principle. Let's go. We'll see if these work outside. Ready to test these bad boys? I guess. What are we doing? Okay, follow the thread as usual, except this time we should be able to make it till the end. Here it is, flow. All we had to do was ask. Awesomeness is very subjective, you. In any case, these boots are working. We should try them with that thread we weren't able to use last time. Do you remember where it was? The mapping module certainly does. All right, give me those medical plants of yours. Time to fire up the synthesizer. With this thing, We'll be right back on our feet. Are you sure you know how? I have a synthesizer in my ship. Of course I know how these work. Uh, no, wait, that's not the way. I know what I'm doing. Really? Because at this stage, you should- Ugh, look, I've always done it this way, and it's always worked out. You're not gonna tell me how to use my own synthesizer. All right, all right, as you wish. I didn't know you could also do it that way. And? Sorry I doubted you. And? Uh, I love you? Okay, that's not what I was expecting, but it'll do. I see you've brushed your hair in the shower again. How can you tell? It's not draining. Oh, sorry. All right, 
You can open your eyes. Surprise anniversary! Huh? <laughs> I meant to say surprise and then I thought, happy anniversary. I panicked. Whose anniversary is it? It's our anniversary. One month on Source. Already? Yeah. I mean, give or take a few days. It went by fast. Yeah. Remember the time we almost died crashing on this planet? And the time we almost died in an earthquake? Ah, and the time we almost died fighting that critter? I hope this is only the beginning. And that I'll have many more chances to almost die with you. Aren't you a charmer? So, are you gonna open your present? Well, our present. Sure, sure. Uh-huh. What is it? Fermented apple juice. I stuck them in the soaker tub to accelerate the process. I'm calling it apple brew. Hmm. Do you think that it's any good? Well, worst case scenario, we just wasted some apple juice. No big deal. Should we open it now? We can open it whenever you want. To us. To us. Hey, that's really good, actually. <clears throat> that's really strong, too. Do you remember the first time you talked about leaving the apiary? <laughs> of course. I'd had a shouting match with my mom. I was just angry. No, oh, before that. Before? We had landed the nest on a hilltop, we were stargazing, and you said, come on, let's go. Hmm? I haven't stopped thinking about it since that day. I think that's what pushed me to dig into the Astro Company archives, which led me to find the coordinates of Source. I wanted to be ready for the day. Wait, wait, when was that? I don't remember. Right at the beginning, you and your mom got in a fight, you hopped into the nest at night, and you picked me up at my house. Was that when we went to the uplands? Yes, the uplands, that's it. Oh, <laughs> Flute, I remember. It was in Frozember. It was super cold out. I was freezing. I just wanted to get back into the nest. That's why I said, let's go. <laughs> and since you didn't respond, I thought you wanted to stay outside. So I didn't push it. I actually caught a beast of a cold that night. Wait, so that means if I hadn't misunderstood that night, I wouldn't have caught a cold. No, but wait. You don't realize how deep this goes. That means we would never have known about Source. We would have never come all the way here. We would probably still be stuck in the apiary. Sure. But if I hadn't caught a cold, I would have never been stuck in bed for a week. And you would have never visited me for tea with armloads of homemade cookies. And you would have never hung out with me for hours on end when I look like a ghost. And I wouldn't have fallen in love with you. So who knows? Maybe I would be living happily in the apiary with my mate. Really? The cookies? That's what made you fall in love? <laughs> in my defense, they were some excellent cookies. But no, idiot, it wasn't the cookies. It was the thoughtfulness. I was sick, my nose was all swollen, croaking voice. I was a mess. And you just showed up, without me asking. I'd only known you for barely three weeks. You took care of me. You baked me some cookies. You stayed and chatted all night, even though it was pretty clear nothing would happen. And you kept on making me laugh, even though it hurt every time I laughed. I hated you. What was it? Did you fall in love, or did you hate me? Well, they're not mutually exclusive. Kinda like salty sweet. Here, give me a taste. Thank you.
Ready to reach some new heights? Always. Do you want to do it here, or...? Oh, no. I was referring to the boots. You know, with the anti-grav sticks, now we'll be able to go to new places and everything. Ah. Oh. <laughs> but I'm sure it can wait. so late. I had an idea. I wasn't able to go back to sleep, so I went ahead and tested it. Want to hear about it? Uh, yeah, okay, but real quickly, because the only reason I'm awake is that I have to be. All right, so we figured out that rust was not a mineral matter, nor was it organic matter. So what else is left? Antimatter? <laughs> Correct. I didn't even think of that. But no, if it were antimatter, we wouldn't be standing here talking about it. So considering that rust is neither mineral nor organic, nor is it antimatter, it could be... Flow! Cool. But you could have just asked me. You can tell it's not flow because flow is blue and all flowy. This is red and all hard. I'll have you know that I just completed the test, and the rust molecules are precisely the same as those in flow. They're just organized differently. Kind of like water and ice, if you will, just not the same. That's why flow, in the form as we know it, has such a strong effect on the rust. The molecules are binding, unbinding, and... Yes, sorry to interrupt, but are you almost done? Uh, I guess that depends on how detailed an explanation you need. The least. Then I'm done. Okay. Thanks. Gotta pee. Oh no, apple brew is only for special occasions. <laughs> 